Time for our weekly update on River Sport Adventures here in the Oklahoma's video studio. I'm Dave Morris, joined by Mike Knopp, Executive Director of the Oklahoma City Boathouse Foundation. How are you, sir? I'm great. He's coming off the uh, the Regatta Festival, which was this past weekend, a big blowout and always a fantastic time. How'd it go? It was great. I, you know, we had Chamber of Commerce weather. I mean, it was, it was ideal all weekend long. We did have a little uh, burst of rain late on Saturday for the night sprints, but it really didn't didn't ruin the weekend. We had uh, just a wonderful uh, two, you know, really three days of racing and um, people were raving about it, uh, you know, from all, you know, people came from all over the country. Well, you so. couldn't complain about Chamber of Commerce weather when you have the U.S. Conference of Mayors yeah. in town over the weekend and they came out to your facility. They did. They came Friday night and they had dinner in the Whitewater Center, got to see, see uh, the venue in action and it was neat when they were sitting down for dinner the corporate teams were lining up to race right outside the window there because the, the whitewater buildings right at about the 500 meter mark of the of the river race course and to really show how unique this place is to have a river venue race course right there on one side and whitewater on the other and then the lights turned on and the racing went off and you know it's we take it it's easy to take it for granted you know i know i do after a while but to, the idea that we have all this and it's unique to have 40 of our, con our, our companies racing. I had to tell these mayors, I said, these aren't colleges, these are, these are companies, people you know, in this community who are, who are racing under the lights, and that seemed to be very impactful. Yeah. And right behind them, to their backs, is the skyline. It's an urban yeah, setting. It's an urban setting, yeah, and that's, that was really, uh, I think that really was uh, powerful for them all to see, and then they were able to see a, a lot of whitewater demonstrations going on, and, yeah, I could see a lot of wheels turning in some of the, the, the you know, from, from the mayors. But what are some of the questions that they might ask you? Because it's one thing to see this in action. And yeah. at this point, it's very impressive. If you're driving yeah. along I-40 through downtown, you're like, wow, there, there are now a lot of buildings, a lot mm -hmm. of facilities, and oh, hey, there's some rapids. But getting from here to perhaps where they are, there, there are a lot of steps to take. There's a lot of steps, but I got to tell you, you know, as I was talking to some of them, some of them have it sort of easy compared to what we did. We, I mean, we started with a ditch, okay? <laughs> I mean, some of, many of them have real rivers, I mean, vibrant rivers that already go through their city, and part of the issue that they have is they just haven't really found a way to activate them or to get the community as engaged as they would like on, the, on their waterfront. So uh, many cities have, again, restaurants and hotels and that kind of thing, but don't have the activity that we have. So uh, I think we can learn from each other, really in that regard. Very good. You mentioned the, uh, the University of Massachusetts, the women's team, after they finished rowing, they hopped in some rafts? They went rafting, yeah, and that was, in fact, you know, many of our referees and other people that were there, there's nowhere in the country you can do that, where you can, if you're a rower, go do your racing and then walk over and go rafting, and, um, and they just, I got, did get a lot of feedback, and people just had a blast. I mean, so it's one of those things that, um, the buzz will start and we'll probably have more and more teams that will come to our event in the future because we can offer a whole a, w array of experiences and for this time of the year for this event this is very early in the season for most of the universities and for all the universities so they're looking to get their athletes on the water in a competitive setting but also to have some fun you know start the season start their year off you know building their their camaraderie within their program and Nobody can do that better than we can. So they had a chance to have some competition, do some rafting, but then also, hey, there's one more thing right there, the pump track. The pump track, there you go, yeah, yeah. So that was, and, and that was in use a lot over the weekend. I, I will say, one of the neat things, we tried to counter-program everything around the regatta. You know, we had all the racing going on in the regatta at the, on the river, but then we had over 150 kayakers in the Whitewater Center and this was due to OKC Kayak working with us and bringing in uh, Eric Jackson and, and some of the, you know, these world-class paddlers who did free kayak clinics all weekend long. And I couldn't believe how many kayakers were packed in that Whitewater Center and, and you know, true beginners. And they, uh, they just had a great time. I should mention that we have friends behind us, uh, yeah, yeah. our friends here in the wetsuits yeah. and the paddles, because rafting continues, which may surprise some people, but as you have mentioned yeah. before, if you go to the river in Colorado or whatever, it's far colder there, 
Rafting continues here. Uh, yeah, I've checked our water temperature. We're like 76 <laughs> degrees still, and you know that's warm. And 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 I do have, I have got received comments where people seem surprised that we're continuing to raft like as though we're like a water park, and right. it's really different. I mean, this is a, again a lifestyle activity that we will keep going as as long as the weather allows us to, but especially through October. And as you can see, uh, splash jackets are available, booties we will keep you warm and this is such a great time to go rafting because it's not as busy and it's very nice outside so and clearly it puts a smile on your face yeah, yeah. You that was not staged by the way that was that not was staged. <laughs> they did not say say mike cannot <laughs> uh should also mention you have pirate island going yeah. on yeah we opened pirate island as part of the regatta festival had lots of families come out had a blast my own five-year-old gave me the thumbs up as he went through it. He came dressed as a little pirate himself and got in the mode. But, um, you know, what they do is, and we're actually expanding it this week now that the regatta's passed. So if you came out last week, and there'll be more to see this weekend, uh, they do a treasure hunt. And so there's clues along the way throughout the island, and then they end up at a treasure. They get prizes, meet one of our resident pirates. And we actually have those. Good to have yeah, those. Yeah, and uh, have an inflatable and have pumpkin painting and, and other activities. Yeah. Uh, and you have some more Halloween events coming up uh, over uh, at your sister location, Lake Overholzer? Lake Overholzer, yes, Haunt the River this year will be at Lake Overholzer the last weekend of October. Um, be a spooky event, you know, at, in the evening um, using, uh, we're gonna have floating hay rides into the wildlife refuge and some other haunted activities. Uh, it's a very natural, beautiful location, but at night it can, it can be spooky. I can only imagine, that, and, and we talked about this before, I, I did that earlier this summer. It's a good workout. It really makes you feel like you're not in Oklahoma City because it seems like such a remote location. I can only imagine towards dusk or evening, Yeah, I'm, I'm just imagining torches and pitchforks at this point. You can imagine that. You can imagine <laughs> Bigfoot, too. Okay. You know, if, if you recall a few years ago, they did a Bigfoot uh, search and, and and i'm not starting rumors but that was that, that was something that happened so you never know yeah all right very good so <laughs> halloween activities uh happening all over the place uh, more information at riversportokc.org for that uh and one last thing groups holiday events perhaps you guys have a venue that's perfect for that we do um I, we're, we're with our new Whitewater building in Riversport Rapids, it's now open for special events. It's a beautiful location to have a party or a holiday party, and so we're starting to promote that. And um, of course, we have team building activities also that can go along with your holiday party if you if you like. So a lot, lot of activity or a lot of opportunity there. So. Very good. He's Mike Knopp, executive director of the Oklahoma City Boathouse Foundation. I'm apparently losing my voice here. More information at riversportokc.org. Mike, as always, thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you.